in this video, I will give away this brand new Falcons key. All you have to do, make sure to watch the whole video. Hey yo, what's good everyone? Welcome back to another vlog. And make sure to watch the whole video. There's another cool giveaway in the end of the video. And maybe you guys have noticed new hoodie, new merch, attack your dreams with the logo here, the air logo, then also some new beanies, everything available on andreadergetli.com. So make sure to check it out. And this week was off snow week. That means I wasn't skiing. I was more in the gym and doing some physical training. And now it's beginning of November and it's starting to get really cold, but this afternoon it's a little warmer. So we have a special program, which we never did in any of the vlogs. So we go to Lake Gamase and I won't tell you guys much more. Let's go and check it out. down here at the lake and this right here is called a pump foil um, I got this one from Indiana and this summer was the first time I saw pump foiling I think on Instagram and then I was like I need to try this as well it looks so much fun and actually it's super tough in the beginning but I'm getting better and better at it and yeah I would say let's go for a session now and the water is 10 degrees Celsius so it's actually not that cold, but I will stick to the wetsuit because if you fall in, then get out and it's a little bit windy, it gets really, really cold without wetsuit. So yeah, yeah, should be good. Let's go. I'm done with a one and a half hour pump foil session and it was surprisingly good. I think my longest pump was around 30 seconds and with the wetsuit it wasn't cold at all. It was really chill, maybe a little bit the feet and the hands got cold after one and a half hours. And yeah, it was a fun session. Now I'm gonna go quickly without the wetsuit in the cold water. A little challenge to end the day and after that we go straight uh, back home. So let's go into cold water. Oh, shit. Easy. Oh, okay. It's 7.30 a.m. and today we're gonna go to the Freestyle Academy. I am a new ambassador for the Larios Foundation and in the Freestyle Academy there's gonna be 100 kids and we're gonna do sport with them and try to inspire them for freestyle sports. And there's another um, Laureus ambassador and it's none other than Tony Hawk. That's 
crazy. He's a skateboard icon. I remember playing his video games 15 years ago and today I'm gonna meet him in person. Yeah, that's just crazy. So I eat my breakfast and then we go do sport with the kids. I haven't really been on the skateboard lately so I need to make sure to uh, get some tricks back before I meet Tony. Okay, I'm ready to meet Tony. kids left and it was a really fun morning um, I was on the trampoline um, going by to each different group and giving some advice to the kids and just having fun and then Tony was here in the bird ramp John Zimmern was in the bowl and there were also coaches here on the street skate area and yeah it was really cool to see the kids having fun and try to inspire them to do freestyle sports and yeah, it was, was a really cool morning and for me it's special as well because I remember being back home playing 15 years ago on my Xbox the Tony Hawk video game and he was like, he was the man, he was like the, the skater I knew, Tony Hawk and now 15 years later I am uh, Laureus um, ambassador with Tony Hawk, that's crazy, that makes me really proud as well because what I have achieved over the last few years and yeah, thanks again to Laureus for making this happen. And now I'm gonna go to Stubai because we have a camp with Swiss Friski over there. So let's go. As you saw in the beginning of the video, I will give away this brand new Focal Ski. All you have to do, like this video, leave a comment why you should win the ski and then be subscribed to the channel. Take a screenshot and send me proof on Instagram DM and I will pick a random winner. And also, don't forget to check out my new merch on andreeregetli.com. And now, it's time for me to go to Stubai Workout. Let's go! Those were my Chinese fans. We are international. Let's go. <laughs> All eyes on the way I vibe when I walk into the room. Wind blows underneath the soles of my brand new pair of shoes. I got the attention. I'm on a mission. No sweat in the way I step. I got a fresh new attitude.
Today was qualification day and it all went really quickly. Yesterday we had just one day of practice, four hours, and the weather was not really great. It was snowing, but uh, like we had to get a run ready for today because already today we had uh, qualification and it, it looks now really nice to ski, but man, it was so hard, really windy in the practice and like also the takeoff because there were so many riders was not not really good and yeah i uh, landed my first run with really easy tricks with two 12s um, but i made it through into the finals and i think in sixth spot in my heat um, but i'm just happy to qualify and now my legs are a little bit uh, tired and my body we're gonna go and head down and tomorrow we have maybe a day off or practice We'll see about that. So we had today a two hour extra practice for all the finalists and it was really nice so I could focus a little bit more also on the rails because we had just had one practice day. And now I'm waxing my ski and also sharpening my edges because the course has been really icy over the last few days and that's why I need to sharpen them. And after that, I probably go to physio, have a little massage, and then I'm ready for tomorrow's final. Weather should be good. Oh man, I, I, I don't know where to start. Uh, today was finals day and it was just a perfect day. No wind, bluebird. Uh, we had one hour of practice. I felt really good in practice. Maybe a little bit tired after the four days um, of skiing we had before. And yeah, then uh, after practice, I did my uh, first final run and I was already big on the first jump. Uh, then second jump not clean, then in the third rail I slipped out and almost crashed. And then I was a little bit bumped because uh, I messed up my first run. But uh, I believed in myself and uh, went back up. And then like before, before my second run I was obviously really nervous, a lot of pressure. Because I really wanted to land my run. And yeah, then I went into my last run. First jump perfect, second jump perfect. The first rail good, second rail good, and then I was coming in, switch into the last rail, and I was like, all right, come on, you got this. Did the switch to in, four out, landed perfect, and there's no better feeling, I tell you guys, than landing your last and final run under all the pressure. This is the best feeling, this is why I love to compete, and yeah, in the end, I ended up in second place here at the World Cup, the first Slopestyle World Cup in Stubai, 
Yeah, feels amazing to be back on the podium. I think that's my 24th World Cup podium, which is crazy. Super proud about that. And now we're gonna celebrate with the team a little bit and eat something. And I, my body really needs to rest. It was an intense week. Yeah, thank you guys so much uh, for the support. Um, we're so close to hitting 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. So make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment behind. And I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Peace out.